Lukashenko, Ukraine offers Belarus non-aggressive pact. Ukraine offers Belarus to sign a non-aggressive pact while simultaneously training militants that pose a potential threat to Belarus national security, Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko said. I don't know why the Ukrainians need this. On the one hand, they ask us not to fight Ukraine under any circumstances, not to move out forces there. They offer us to sign a non-aggression pact. On the other hand, they cook this explosive mix and arm the militants, Lukashenko said during the meeting on social and political situation and crime in the Republic, according to B. Aita. Lukashenko believes that Poland and Lithuania, meantime, have gone completely insane. What do they need creating threats for? I have no idea. So we have to respond firmly, he said. We have enough issues on our perimeter, both in airspace and on the ground, the so-called green border. We have enough problems there. God help us hold all that, the Belarusian president said. The president noted that because of what is happening, Belarus has to react harshly to all the actions of neighboring countries. So, according to him, there are enough issues, both at their border and on the ground. Kiev has not yet confirmed or denied Lukashenko's remarks. The press secretary of the Kremlin, Dmitry Peskov, said that the Kremlin has no information about Ukraine's offer to conclude a pact not to attack Belarus. He did not comment on the statement of the president of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, that Kiev proposed to sign a non-aggression pact with Minsk. No, I cannot comment on that yet. I have no information, the Kremlin spokesman said. The day before Lukashenko pointed out that a group of armed forces of the neighboring countries of the European Union and Ukraine is concentrated near the Belarusian border, about 23.5 thousand people, of which 17.2 thousand are from Ukraine and 3.7 thousand from Poland. Lukashenko said that the situation around Belarus was not easy. He particularly spoke about the military, political and economic situation. The same day, Lukashenko approved the decision to protect the state border of Belarus in airspace. The Belarusian authorities have never made such a decision before.